A 2.4 kilogram metal ball is suspended from a rope as a pendulum. If it is released from point A, that is 31 centimeters above point B, uh, and swings down to point B, the bottom of the arc, calculate the velocity of the ball at point B. So here we can see here we have a pendulum, 2.4 kilograms, that's going to be released, it's going to swing down, and the height um, between point B and point A, in other words, the vertical height is 31 centimeters. Now, uh, and just to draw it here so that we can uh, fill in some values. Okay, here's point B. There we go, that's 31 centimeters. That's a very ugly sketch, I apologize. Okay, that's not helping. But we do know that its weight is 30, uh, sorry, 2.4. 2.4 kilograms and we want to know what is the velocity at that point. Again we're going to use a very simple idea that the mechanical energy at the top or the initial mechanical energy is equal to the final mechanical energy. Okay, And initial mechanical energy okay, is equal to initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy. Okay, mechanical energy, kinetic plus potential. So initially its kinetic energy is zero because it's not moving, it's it's being dropped, so it's being let go. So initially that's zero uh, because velocity is zero. And potential energy, because it's at the top, it has the potential to fall, in other words, to get into motion. That's why it has potential energy. So it's not a half, it's mass of two point four times gravity and they tell us to use g equal to 9.8 so g 9.8 times the height 31 centimeters now 31 centimeters must be converted into meters to go from centimeters to meters we with divide with a hundred okay which means that this becomes 0 comma 31 0 comma 31 so 0 comma 31 that's the meters and that means our total kinetic energy at the top is what? Let's calculate. 0 plus 2.4 times 9.8 times 0.31 equals 7.2912. That's in joules. Okay, now we're doing our mechanical energy in the end. In the end, mechanical energy is again the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy. Okay, now the final potential energy this time is zero because it's got nowhere left to fall. It's now going back up again. Okay, so it's now increasing its potential energy um, again, but at the bottom point it is zero. Okay, at the bottom though, it has it's moving. Okay, it's moving now in that direction, but it is moving. It has motion, which means it has it has kinetic energy. So that is a half times mass 2.6, and the reason why it has kinetic energy is because sorry, not 2.6, 2.4, and the reason why it has kinetic energy is because it has velocity that we are trying to calculate and we find then a half of that is 1.2 um, velocity squared. Now that is my mechanical energy and that must be equal to my final mechanical energy. So I have 1.2 velocity squared is equal to 7,2912. Okay. Divide both sides with 1.2, divide with 1.2 and what do I get? divide this value by 1.2 and I get 6, I get the velocity squared is equal to 6.076 but I'm not looking for velocity squared, I'm looking for velocity so I take the square root of this giving me 2.46 2,46 meters per second. Okay, 
that is my velocity. Now I should take plus or minus, but in this case I'm not just traveling up and down and I'm actually I'm traveling up, down, left and right. So plus or minus means very little, um, but I do notice that it does have direction when it gets to the bottom. Okay, the velocity at the bottom, when it's at the bottom it is traveling, uh, let's say it's traveling west, uh, not west, east. Okay, east or uh, towards the, le the right, towards the right, okay, towards the right. So we, other points we might not have the exact direction, but when it's at the bottom we know that it's traveling towards the right, so this velocity is towards, towards the right. And that's it, let's fill it in here. Okay, we know that the formula says mechanical energy is that potential plus kinetic energy. That initial mechanical energy is equal to final mechanical energy. They are equal. Okay, initially our mechanical energy, we worked that out to be equal to, okay, and this is the substitution step. So we do that top part, 0 plus 2.4 times 9.8 times 0.13 preview. Okay, looks good. No, it doesn't. There, that should be 2.4. 2.4 times 9.8. Okay, the final mechanical energy is this one. Okay, that's a half times the mass 2.4 velocity squared plus zero potential energy. What does that give us? That looks good. Again, and now we make these two equal to each other and then we can use this step right here. Okay, 1.2 velocity squared is equal to 727,2912. That looks good. And when we solve for V, we're going to use just a positive answer because we are indicating direction anyways. So our final answer was 6, sorry not 6, I lie, 2.46 meters per second there we go, 2.46 meters per second and the answer, the direction in which it was traveling was to the right. There we go.